everybody and welcome to a new series Niche, a genetic survival game. And by the way, Merry Christmas guys. So I decided since it's Christmas, why not start a new series called Niche, which most of you guys probably have heard of, which is where you plop onto an island with um, your creatures called a Nicheling, and you survive with them passing on the good and the bad genes, but you have to sort them. <laughs> so we're going to do story mode. Um, I wouldn't, and I'm doing a challenge, as you can see, I already have, I started with the world to see how the game would work, how well I would be at the game, so I've gotten a little bit better. So, this is going to be called the Riverbed Challenge. And, yeah, so that's the Riverbed Challenge. I haven't actually named this game yet. So, this is the Riverbed Challenge where you basically have to have 50 niche things that are water body or can at least breathe in the water and you have to put all the 50 niche things into at least um you have to put them under the water and that's how you complete the challenge so anyway we're watching the intro now okay i already watched the intro but i'll let you guys watch the intro okay oh my god look at adam his friend Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, his friend's not gonna do anything because he's just right inside. Oh my god, his face. Oh, Adam, tiny island. <laughs> Adam, yeah, beat him up, Adam. And you go, boy. Yeah, I was gonna say that. He's not a girl, he's a manly man. Yeah, wake up, Adam. You're okay. You're okay. Get up. Get up, Adam. Oh, oh my God. He's so sad. Oh. Oh. I like his mohawk. <laughs> his mohawk is beautiful. That hurt. Look around. You are all alone. Stranded on an island far away from home. <gasps> Oh my god, try and see if you want, if you can still walk with an Adam, then you can do it. Okay, so, let's move him right here. Seems like you aren't injured. That's good news. <laughs> it was a long day, time to get some sleep. Click on the end day button on the screen. If you can also press space to end the day. Okay. I always press space. Easier. Um, okay, so, R or F. Or the scroll wheel. I love the scroll wheel. Or W A S to move around. Or left click to try. I did not know. Oh. Um. Or the arrow keys to move. So arrow keys and oh, move around. Okay, so we're gonna feed Adam some of this. Whoops. Sorry, Adam. There we go. Tasty berries, a great source of nutrition. Collecting more and building up a reserve sure would be helpful. Tip, your food count is displayed on the bottom right corner of the screen. Okay, that's interesting. The island seems deserted. A path away to the stones lead to another island. Maybe it's time to leave this place. Move Adam to the flower plot part and interact with a pointy traveler stone, which is right here. So let's go back to Adam. Adam will pass the day. We're going to find some new places today. Whoops, I was not meant to do that. Well, today's going by really slowly. Um, no, I'm just gonna make it to the island. <gasps> Adam grew up. Are you kidding me, Adam? <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> oh, God, these are all my own. Got that. So let's travel. I'm traveling. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Behind the stepping stones crumble and splash into the ocean. Oh my god. This island is. Is. Oh. Did you hear that? It sounds like another living thing. And the wild animal offer food. You can switch. Right. Oh yeah. I forgot to. I forgot how useful that was. Um. So are we supposed to look around? Or an email. I 
I'm not really seeing her right now. She really needs to come out of her shell. Because she is really shy. <gasps> Honey! Um, does anyone see her? Or smell? Um, I mean, she should be here. I hope she's here. I have no idea where she is. <gasps> Found her! Oh my god! Oh my glob! Eve! Eve! Is so pretty. I'm gonna make her crack a nut. She is so pretty. Oh my god, she has crack a jaw, antlers, nimble fingers, runner's leg, and I think that's medium body. And her eyesight is not perfect. Why did I breed? Okay, so we're gonna put regular eyes into the mutation so she does not pass on those blind eyes. She has poison fang recessive. What? She has medium body and she's gonna pass on big body. Perfect blood clotting. She has perfect fertility and she has A and B. Regular hind legs and a fluffy tail. I cannot see the fluffy tail. And then that's she has beige and white fur. I thought she really did have um albinism, I think. Because I had albinism. I, oh look, Eva's pregnant. She needs to. Oh, whoops. Well, um, I did not build a nest. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot to narrate you guys to, to tell you guys that um, Adam killed Bunny. And um, so females should be able to get a big variety of males to pick from, but right now she has only one choice, and she was pretty impressed from looking from stalking Adam the shadows to see and be very smart and kill that bunny right there instead of looking for her. So she's gonna plunk down that nest because she really wants those smart babies just like Adam. She's gonna kick that tree too. And he wants to show off his smartness by collecting some more berries, I guess. Okay, so let's pass it. Oh look, there's another bunny. Okay. So, oh, twins? Oh my god, I have not had twins yet. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna look at them soon. Adam is probably really excited right now. So he's gonna kill that bunny just for her. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? Mary's pink. What? Oh my god. It, oh, I am so excited. And poison face. Poison things like what? And they have perfect eyesight. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! And they have complete different immunities, which is good. Okay, um, uh, Eve, you have done well. Miri, I'm gonna rename Miri. Oh, yeah, this is the family tree. So, Miri, I think we're gonna name you Barry because that. Is just amazing. And Anasi, I think we're gonna name you. Dan the Lion. I think that's how you spell Dandelion. Okay, so we have Barry and Dandelion now, which are pretty much plants. Um so here's Adam actually. Oh my god, his body. <laughs> Okay, so we can just look at the genes from here, I guess. Ooh, he doesn't have anything bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. I didn't set up Adam's thing. Oh, yeah, you're first off. You are now a red family. The baby's genes are a mix of parent genes. Oh. Genes define how animals look and what abilities they have. Click on the family tree button on the top left corner. Um when having an animal selected to see the family. Why should so right here basically is what I'm trying to say. Adam, you should be very proud. I'm gonna make Adam have some regular eyes right here. And these girls have perfect eyesight, which is good. Do they have okay yeah they both don't have weapon legs and they have perfect fertility, perfect blood clotting. They have perfect everything basically. 
I want Barry's pinkness to keep on going. I'm not sure if I can actually pick the color. Yeah, I can. So, that's a shame. But I think Eve is gonna stay near them for right now. Or we have no nesting material. Are you serious? Okay, so I'm gonna move them. This is right here. Here's the meat. I'm just gonna pick it up here. He's gonna uh, mate with him, and then they're gonna swap down on the nest. And that's the end of the turn. Oh my god, it's a male. Who do? Okay, so he has the exact same immunity as Dandelion. He looks kind of like Dandelion. And Duke here has the opposite of Barry. So Duke here, Duke here, and Barry can breed together. Which sounds really weird, but whatever. We just need to keep the family going. I think Dandelion's gonna go and help her dad with some collecting. And Barry is a curious one. I, I feel like. Her little tiny body can make her move around really quickly. She has five movements while her sister only has four movements, so she can move around really quickly, probably faster than her mother and father. Yep. So she's probably like the little rascal that likes to slip away. And here is here Duke here. I really need to change his name because his name is super hard to pronounce. He's also perfect all around but I think I want this family to get stronger and by stronger I mean big body which only Adam has I'm not sure if I can encourage big body though they all have oh she has big body didn't like it yeah, that's good um let's see if I can encourage big body though no I can only encourage medium body a medium body does give you at least one strength so anyway, I think this is, I think we're going to move on to the next item, right after Adam gets this bunny meat, and after, oh, you can do that too, Adam. Uh, uh, I think he was going to rush her baby over to be next to Barry. So, uh, he can be- Oh, this is the end of the turn. Okay, so he can be protected. Let's pass the turn. Dandelion's like... Like, I wouldn't say proper, but she is serious about spreading genetics all around the place. And oh dear, we do not have enough space. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, we do not have enough room. Someone has to be left behind. Okay, oh my god. Um, I think it's... Okay. Okay, um, Adam has to be left behind. Because I already have the next breeding pair set up already. So we're going to have to leave Adam behind. That is so sad. I should have bred them first. Why am I so stupid? Why did I try and do that too? He okay, so well, Barry's gonna be ordered to run by Dandelion because Dandelion's bigger and stronger than her. Wait, are they bigger and stronger? Okay, hold on. Barry, is your sister stronger than you? She is by one strength. Okay. Well, Adam has, I mean, Eve has a lot more life to go. So, oh my god, they grew up, the twins grew up. Woo! I think he's also going to try. I think he got the curious trait too. And Dandelion's just going to stay near him because she needs to breathe with him later on in life. And their mother's just going to travel around sadly thinking about the days when they were young, when Eve and Adam were young. When they first met, when she saw Adam hunt that bunny, she's gonna be really sad. And her kids probably don't really know about that. Oh, he's he's, he's slippery. Oh my god, 
is slippery. And Barry is like one of those kind ones. <gasps> yes, Road Duke. Oh my god, Road Duke. Oh my gosh, Road Duke. Road Duke, come back here. Road Duke, do not drown. Okay, hold on, Road Duke. Do you have anything? Oh my god, he has perfect immunities. He's gonna breathe with her. He's gonna get out of the water. And try and kill that mold just like he has digger's paw and he has terrible eyesight so let's fix that up we should probably rename road duke road duke looks like a piece of hot fudge so i think i'm gonna name road duke to fudge because he looks like fudge and he pretty much saved the day so he should be named after a delicious type of food which is fudge so, I just scared away that mole right there. And that's probably Barry's fault, so... Yeah. Sorry, Barry, you... <gasps> you guys can breed! Okay, so that was really quick. Wait, did I just breed with the wrong dudes? Yeah, I did. Okay, they're gonna have a sick baby. Um, Barry's just like, what? She's just like, I didn't know... Anything. <laughs> Dang it! Why? Why do I have to be that stupid person? Okay, I think Dandelion's just not gonna have a baby. He's just not gonna have it. So, um, Barry's kind of shocked that she has to breed with him. And he's just gonna come down and breed with her quickly, and then run away. She's just gonna be like, what did you just do to me? I'm a big fat person now because of you. And she just got bullied. Okay, um, unsuck her, thank you. Thank you very much. And we, there's no permanent right now anywhere. And all three of our females are pregnant. Well, Dan likes that actually gonna be having a baby anytime soon. So I think Eve has to, <gasps> permanent. There we go. And I think he's going to show off his digging skills to Eve. Right in front of her. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> right in front of her. And I think Dandelion's going to be relieved that her mother found a permanent and is able to relax now since she has a mate now. I think Eve's going to be happy that, that she's going to be able to pass away in peace to know that she that her family's gonna be, be able to pass on because of here duke here i didn't rename who dear here duke here no <laughs> i'm just gonna start with the k k wait he's a boy what am i doing <laughs> um the only name that comes to mind what is this is kyle so he's gonna be named kyle i'm not sure if that's how Okay, so that's gonna be Kyle, and uh, we're gonna pass the day, pass the turn, or whatever you call it. Someone just got leeched again. Wait, no, that was before. Oh my God, she looks just like Barry, except a little bit different with diggers. Ha! So Eve's gonna move out of the way. And clear up some grass so we can see this little darling a bit better. And so is he. So is Fudge. Oh my god, Fudge. Fudge, Fudge, Fudge. Fudge. You never told me that you were gonna die so soon. Okay, anyway. Um, she has I and B. Can she breed with him? No, she cannot. Wow. <laughs> And she has blind eye recessive, so we need to definitely fix that. And she has nimble and diggers. Does anyone have like strength here? Like, does she even have strength? I think she has one because of her medium body. But we haven't really worked on the um, riverbed challenge just yet. And yeah, um, so I think Eve's gonna care for whatever her name is. 
I have to have a name for her though. Her name is going to be Fauna. Um, Fauna. Because of how gentle she is. Just like a fawn. Although fawns can kick out when they want to. So if someone strikes out to her, she's going to defend herself. She is not afraid to defend herself. Which is pretty much her personality. She's gentle, but if you are mean to her, she will protect herself. She's not afraid to use her medium body against you. So, yeah, even though you are stronger than her, she will still attack you if you are a bit mean. And there is actually enough material for her to plunk down a nest. So, Barry can plunk down that nest. Although, Barry is very reluctant about having kids because she wants to live life to the fullest. And live life to the edge, which she's not being able to do. Although her mother did tell her to have to pass on the generation by her happiness of being able to. So she has she wants to keep her mother happy, so she has no other choice but to do that. Cause she still remember oh my god the mole so Barry still remembers about the depression that Eve had when she had to leave behind Adam. The one nicheling that went through so much. And Dandelion just found a nest. This is pretty far away from other nichelings, so I think she's gonna actually have a baby. So she remembers <laughs> Is that Adam? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so she has, he has B and home. What does she have? She has B and I. Oh, he passed away. That's so sad. He has B and K. There's so much B going around. Oh and before Barry can even think about what's coming next, Kyle just comes over and brings with her. And she's just like, Kyle, Kyle, why? Kyle. <laughs> Now Kyle's not really the smartest dude, he just wants to pass on everything. When I mean everything, I mean everything. And I'm just looking for roots right now. Oh, there's roots over. Oh, that's, this is why you should be using the scent. But I don't want to. Because <laughs> I am stupid. Okay. Did he? Did he, he just died! Oh my god! Oh my god! Quince! Quince, she looks like a tiger! Oh my god, Dandelion! Why did you have to have so many cute kids? Hey, Dandelion's gonna get sick. <gasps> what? Quince not sick. No! No, Coco is the, is the tiger! I'm gonna name Coco Lily because whenever I think about white tigers, I think about Lily. And I made that all caps. Why? So that's Lily. And Rihanna is the sick one. She looks like a fennec fox. She looks like a fox. Ugh. Oh my gosh, she looks just like Dandelion, but she has like big ears. I have no idea what to name her actually. She has no name right now. Okay, hold on. Does she have no name? Okay, Miana does. Okay, Miana, I am so sorry that you had to be born sick. You, ew, that's just fate. It's called a fatal death. And I think I'm gonna make a uh, Duke Duke move over here. Va Von Bon does not have a name yet. There are so many babies. Okay, I need a name Von Bon. Hmm. Let's see. I'm not good at naming boys, so I feel like he would also be bouncy and excited and like just like his mother and he's not really serious. So um, I'm gonna name him, I think his mother is like a laughable nicheling so she would name him Jumper and I actually know a dog named Jumper and I Oh, I did see it. Jumper's gonna move over here. And... Oh my god, how did Kyle just do that? 
I don't know. And he's gonna... He's already pregnant. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and he's finally gonna leave Barry alone. Which is nice. Oh, my beautiful twins. Oh my god, okay. I have no idea what to name... <gasps> I know what to name her now. I'm gonna name her Chip after Banana Chips. So I'm gonna move Lily out of the way. So her name is gonna be Chip. I'm gonna name her Banana C for... Actually, I'm just gonna name her Chip. Banana Chip. There we go. So we have Lily and Banana Chip. I kind of love the name chip now. Um, but Lily is absolutely perfect. B and G. B. Oh my god. Okay, the only one that doesn't have B is Barry. And her name starts with a B. Okay, Rota also has B. Um, we're struggling. And I think he's gonna do that. And he's gonna try and breed. Oh yeah, I forgot they both have perfect fertility. Uh, I think Jumper's gonna move around a little bit, and Rota looks just like a nut, so I'm gonna name him Almond, which would, uh, which kind of represents his brownish and stripy mane and body. So his name is gonna be Almond, and. Duke Duke is just going to explore a little bit. He has nothing to do. He, he feels like he's a bit nervous about everything. He's like me, nervous. Always nervous. Yeah, well, I think that's going to end it here, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Niche. And Merry Christmas, guys. Bye!